All right, on our way. Don't really know where. You ready? <laughs> Hi everybody, uh, my name is Christina and welcome back to my channel. Today will be the second part to my two part video of a weekend long trip that I took with my study abroad group in the Dominican Republic where we went to two lagoons in the north part of the island and then me and a couple of the other girls decided to take an extra little excursion on our own and we went to Samana to go whale watching. And it turned into an adventure that we really didn't expect, um, but looking back on it, it was pretty crazy. So. so the first part of the video, you're just gonna see us basically struggling to get where we needed to go. So we walked to the main road and we're gonna um, like get a guagua, which is like a public bus that runs on a route through the island. Um, and we we're gonna take two guaguas and a bus to get to our location. The first few clips is just us trying to figure out the entire situation. We really didn't know what we were doing, which you'll pick up on pretty quickly. But the funniest part to me was something that you won't see is in the background, there's like a like a restaurant type shop thing that a bunch of local Dominicans were just sitting at, chilling, um, and they watched the entire thing unfold. So they were just cracking up at a bunch of Americans standing on the side of the road, yelling at each other, having literally no idea what we were doing. I really enjoyed it. So we eventually finally made it. And then you'll see us do a bus change where we catch our second bus. And then after that, I won't have any more footage once I hit a certain point. So then I'll come back and explain what happened. Hey, we can no, do anything after no, this, though. I guess. Yo, is the bus gonna just leave us? We're out here walking. Wait, with them what happened? We're watching. Yeah. Because we uh, hopefully we're about to catch a bus on the side of the road. Yeah. <laughs> hopefully it's kind of like catching a concho and just you wave four fingers and it lets us on, but we'll see. Yeah. Blair Witch Project. No. Nope. Here movie where like they go into the woods and get lost and put their recording the whole thing so they find the footage of what happened. Snap. Wait, so who did you ask about this? <laughs> Waiting to catch a wawa. <laughs> you guys got your hitchhiking? Down. Yeah, this is real traveling. Wait, like that? Wait, going the other way. Alright, I see something! We see something! We see something! Should we wave it down? Not the guy, not the guy. Just the bus. No! <laughs> Three hours later. Aurelie, how can we tell if it's it? I can't tell. I think that's a truck. I think it's a truck. Yeah, it's a truck. To see you later, yeah. gotta hit the road. Gotta hit the road. Sun and change in the atmosphere. I get it, you're out for me. I could get used to this. Time flies by in the yellow and green. Stick around and you'll see what I mean. There's a mountain top. That I'm dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding shotgun Underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone I'll be riding shotgun Underneath the hot sun Feeling like a someone We're South of the equator Navigator Gotta hit the road Gotta hit the road A deep sea diving round the clock Bikini bottoms, lager tops I could get used to this Time flies by in the yellow and green Stick around and you'll see what I mean There's a mountain top that I'm 
dreaming of If you need me, you know where I'll be I'll be riding strong Round I'm feeling like a someone I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll be riding shotgun underneath the hot sun, feeling like a someone. I'll the shadiest part, when you tell it in retrospect, doesn't sound that bad. But while it was happening, it was very, very scary. So basically, we got to the city where we were supposed to take a commercial bus to Samana. And, um, while we were in the guagua, a bunch of people kept telling us that there was no way we were going to be able to get to the bus in time and that, like, the last one would have already passed. And so we're already on edge because it's, like, pretty dark at this point and we didn't think there was any other way we could get to where we needed to go. So we got to the bus stop. We got off the guagua, immediately swarmed by moto ponchos, like, surrounded, fully surrounded with their little motorcycles trying to get us to, like, use them as transport obviously and we're like no we're waiting for the bus and they all were like oh it's already left there's literally no way that you're gonna make it to where you need to go unless you ride with us and like all this stuff so I at that point was completely against riding on the back of a moto concho which at this point I have done but I was not gonna do it in the middle of nowhere and I was not gonna do it when it was pitch black outside so we all felt the same thing we were like there's no way we're gonna do that that's that seemed pretty unsafe because I think it was like 30 minutes 45 minutes to get to our destination so at this point there was, I think, one other girl on the guagua, and she was like, yeah, like, don't ride with them. That's not a good idea. So we got back on, and we're trying to figure out what our options were. And um, we were like, okay, maybe the driver will take us if we pay him extra. So we asked him, and he was not super happy about it, but he gave us a very high price because he didn't think we would do it. And I remember the girl was like, you should probably just do it because there's no other way you're going to get there. We decided to just go ahead and do it. And it wasn't that high, but compared to what a typical fare for riding these buses is, which is like less than 50 cents, it was crazy high. So we paid him half up front, hoping that that would ensure that we were going to be taken to where we needed to go. We were like already back on the guagua or whatever. And then we took the probably like 30 minute ride to get to our location. It felt like forever though, because we were like, what if he doesn't take us where we need to go? Like all this stuff. Thank goodness we got there okay. And um, our Airbnb hostess like came out and met us. Uh, we found her okay and stuff like that. And then she was like asking us how much she charged. And we told her and she's like, that is way too high. There's no need he needed to charge you that much. Um, don't pay him the rest. <laughs> and so we thought about it and then we were too chicken and we ended up paying him the rest. So. That was pretty much it. In retrospect, it doesn't sound that bad, but in the moment when you have zero idea where you are and it's a bunch of girls and um, yeah, it just it felt very, very shady. But after that, we went and got food and uh, kind of like chilled at the Airbnb a little bit. And then the next day we got um, to go see the, the whales. So highly recommend if you have the chance to go do that, absolutely do it. It was incredible. Okay. Perfect. We made it! Thanks to this little hey, gal. Hey. To this gal. Oh, wait. We still going, though. We still going. We haven't quit. So we made it to where we were going. But we thought we were not going to make it. We thought we were going to potentially die. But we didn't. And we're here. And we're now oh, following this very nice man that our Airbnb person. Thank you. Wait. <laughs> Told us about you. <laughs> I'm talking to myself. So, Aureli, did we make it to Samana? We did! Really? <laughs> so, we made it. I don't know how, but we're here. <laughs> and what is this? We made it! I don't know we're how. We're here! Two buses, hitchhiking, 3,000 pesos, and a rude bus driver later. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs>
Okay, we have a very uh, cut, damaged dorsal fin. We have an orca rake, a light gray orca rake out in front. We can tell these whales apart. So that was pretty much it. Zamana is really pretty. There's not too much there to see, but it's like definitely worthwhile going just for the whales. So after we did that, we went back to our Airbnb and got all of our stuff and we went to the bus stop, even though our bus wasn't supposed to leave for like an hour and a half because we were like, there's no way we are missing another bus on the way back. So it was a very long drive. I want to say like five hours. It was super awesome. Such a great experience. Um, I don't regret it, although I wish that we had been a little bit smarter about planning ahead. <laughs> but I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, there'll be a couple more clips at the end. Thanks again for watching and stay tuned for my next video.